Hello, my name is Ace, and this is my AGDQ submission video for Portal Out of Bounds. Time will start whenever my crosshair shows up on screen. And that will be... In 3, 2, 1, go. So this is Portal Out of Bounds, aka the any percent run for Portal. Which means we don't have any restrictions, which also means... There's a ton of glitches that we're going to be doing from start to end. It's a very dense route, and so I'll do my best to explain everything. So at the very start of this run, we're going to be doing a trick called Save Glitch. Uh, basically, by saving and loading near a portal in such a way that we get shoved away from the portal, we can get stuck in a state where our collision is very messed up. And this means that we'll be able to walk through walls, fall through the ground, go through ceilings, a bunch of stuff like that. And it also means that we're going to interact very weirdly with props such as this radio. So whenever we get let out of this vault whenever, and whenever this portal opens, I'm going to use this radio to shove myself away from the portal so that I can get put into the save glitch state. So I'm going to save and load a lot here as the portal is opening. And then, I'm going to throw this radio through the portal, walk through the glass that I do not have collision with. Uh, let's go ahead and retry that. We need to be able to grab this radio. Alright, now that we have this radio, I'm going to line up my coordinates in a precise way. So that I can boost myself with this radio through the ceiling and onto the elevator at the end of this map. This is very difficult and very precise. There we go. So now we're going to land on top of the elevator and save and load so that we can clip into it. And now we have skipped all of the first and or the first two chambers in this run. So we're going to be waiting around a bit at the start of this first chamber while we wait for GLaDOS to let us out. So I'm going to go ahead and explain some of the other things we can do with save glitch. So uh, using save glitch we can also like walk through walls and so that we can place portals out of bounds. So what we're going to be doing in this chamber is I'm going to immediately grab the portal gun and get save glitched and activate the elevator immediately I'm by getting underneath it and jumping. And this will trigger the elevator to go up. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to save and load near that portal. Shoot a portal out of bounds and then under this elevator and then get ourselves back in bounds under it. And now we're going to try and race the elevator to the top. So we're going to do another save glitch and place a series of portals so that we can get on this wall. And then after we get on this wall, we're going to jump in the portal and then save and load so that it warps us upward so that we can get back in bounds by falling into it so that we can beat the elevator and get into this map about two seconds earlier than normal. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing pretty much as we did on the last map. Uh, we're just going to immediately get into this area here through the out of bounds and jump in the elevator. And now while I'm in this elevator, I'm gonna line up my coordinates, or my crosshair, I mean, at some very precise coordinates, which if I line up my crosshair right, I will be able to shoot through a pixel perfect seam in the wall of the next chamber. So we've got the correct coordinates, so I'm going to jump out, shoot a portal into the next chamber, oh, and then fall into this portal. Hold on, let's go ahead and wait for the energy ball to pass. Whoa. Okay, there we go. And we're going to pop back in bounds by touching the fizzler, and then jump in the elevator. So there's a very precise trick I can do. Here at the beginning of chamber 8. I'm going to go ahead and try and go for it. Uh, it's called ABH over goo. It's pretty tough movement wise, but yeah, I didn't get it. Barely didn't have enough speed, so let's go ahead and just do the normal strat. So we're going to just place a portal up in this corner and then jump on top of that block and fall into onto the end and jump in the elevator. Nothing else fancy we got to do there. So now in chamber 9, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump out this way so that we can 
jump on top of this button and place a portal under this door so that we can just jump through the other side without solving the puzzle. And now we're going to get save glitched again so that we can shoot a portal while in this elevator and jump out of it. And now we're going to do the same thing as we did in Chamber 2. We're going to beat this elevator to the top using some out-of-bounds portals. And then we're just going to stand here so that we can save a couple seconds by exiting the elevator slightly early. So now we're going to do another save glitch. Make our way out of bounds, and we're going to get on top of this wall. The reason why we're getting on top of this wall is so that we can do another vertical wall warp, which will set up an ABH sequence that we can do. And if we do this sequence right, we'll hit a, a trigger to load the next level immediately so that we don't have to wait for the elevator ride. So I'm going to go ahead and retry that. Right now we're on a little bit of a time constraint while we're trying to get underneath this elevator, and we got it. So now while this elevator is going up and the next chamber is about to load, we're going to jump back through this portal and actually grab the double portal gun since we never actually grabbed it. So I'm going to jump back through and then stand near this portal. And now for the next few chambers in this game, we're going to be solving them all in the same way, which is simply standing near a portal like I did earlier, like this, while the map is transitioning, and it'll get me put into the same save glitch state I was talking about before. And since we're in that save glitch state, we can just, by placing an orange portal there, we can walk straight through the elevator wall and place a portal under the elevator at the end of the map, and then immediately just PQR and get ourselves back in bounds in, there, in it. We're going to be repeating this all the way up to chamber 18. And then in chamber 18, we're going to do something slightly different. So this is all just a matter of remembering where to place each portal, like remembering where each elevator is, and then doing a somewhat precise portal placement to get back in bounds. It's not too tough, but it does require a little bit of practice to pull off. So chamber 17 is the last chamber we're going to be doing out of bounds so we're or under the elevator i mean so we're almost done with this section of the run honestly there's not much to explain in this part since we're just doing the same thing over and over again so there would probably be a time or time to read a couple donations during this part but uh, at the end of Chamber 18, I'm going to want to start explaining things again. Or at the start of Chamber 18, I mean. So in Chamber 18, uh, instead of going back inbound, or instead of going under the elevator, we're going to go back inbound. And the reason why is because there is a trigger to actually move the elevator inside the map. And the elevator will not move unless you touch that trigger. So we're going to touch that trigger and then just hop back in the elevator. And now what we're going to do at the start of this map here is I'm going to do a trick called Quantum Crouch. So right now, I'm actually in the crouch state, but my camera looks like I'm standing. And what this means is I can peek straight out of bounds super easily just by having my body near a ceiling. So we're going to use that to get out of bounds immediately and then shoot a portal to the end of this map and hit the load trigger from out of bounds. So we're going to be repeating this same process a little bit of just hitting load triggers from out of bounds all the way up to the GLaDOS room. And now that we're here, we're going to do one last PQR to get inbounds near where these turrets are, and I'm going to set up a glitch called Acute Angle Glitch. And basically, by entering these portals that I've placed in a specific way, I'll be able to teleport myself into the GLaDOS room. And then I'm going to go back through and grab this turret so that I can use this turret to knock all the cores off of GLaDOS so I don't have to wait to have the missile turret shoot all of GLaDOS's cores and stuff. So now all we gotta do is gather all the cores, and I'm gonna try and get them somewhat near each other, but that's not too important. And I'm gonna set up one last portal that I can shoot on the outside of the incinerator, so that whenever these little cores go through the portal, they get destroyed immediately, and we beat the game time. And that was Portal Out of Bounds.